everybody, I'm Lisa Sweezy. I'm Tom Ladshaw. And I'm Annie Roberts. Welcome to Behind the Scenes at Venthaven Museum. In this video series, we're going to show you some things that you can't see on a regular tour. Like what? Like how dummies operate, uh, surprises from the storage room, and some treasures from the archives. Let's get started. Here we are today in the Jimmy Nelson building, uh, named after our beloved Dean of American Ventriloquist, Jimmy, Jimmy Nelson, Nelson. Uh, to share another element of behind the scenes here at Ben Haven. Today, one of Tommy's favorite aspects of the museum collection is our library. Are you ready? We're going to take a look at the library. But before we do, before oh, the right. big reveal, we want to show this lovely library cabinet. These are quite expensive. We didn't have the money to buy one, so there was a fundraiser in Branson, Missouri called Talking Wood mm -hmm. that raised all the funds for this cabinet. Yes, thank you to Jim Barber, one of the members of the Board of Advisors, for organizing that event and resulting in this fantastic cabinet for us. So let's see the interior. Wow, look at that. Okay, don't be too disappointed. <laughs> I realize all the books are wrapped up and it doesn't look like most libraries you've seen. That's because this is an archival library. It's not a research library. You can't just come in and pull a book off the shelf and read it like at home. Uh, these books are all housed in Mylar archival sleeves to protect them. Some of them have uh, the archival backboards uh, to hold them up straight like the soft cover books. And that's to protect these books. Many of our books are well over 100 years old and in some cases over 200 years old. Mm -hmm. So we protect them uh, in every way we can. Let's talk about just a few specific books. Okay, Tommy, I pulled this one for you to talk about because I know it's one of your favorites. Ah, that is one of my favorites. Well, that's the cool thing about this, and I realize it's a little hard to see. This is the very first book ever written on ventriloquism. It's called Le Ventriloque. It was written in 1772 in France by the Abbe de la Chapelle. Uh, up until that time, people thought ventriloquism was some sort of dark art, that it was satanic. This was the book that uh, kind of put ventriloquism on the map as a performing art. Mm -hmm. Chappelle said, no, it's, it's a trick. Here's how you do it. Okay. So it's very important. These books are very valuable. WS somehow managed to acquire several sets of this book. There, some of them are in two-volume sets. So he has a number of copies of this in various languages. All right. How about a couple for you? I know you know about this book. This is, yes. Thanks for giving me one that's a little bit more common than that. This is the one of the most common books on uh, ventriloquism, written by Paul Winchell called Ventriloquism for Fun and Profit. Uh, it was written, I think, in 1954. And this was the book that if you were heading to the library to learn about ventriloquism, you would check out Ventriloquism for Fun and Profit by Paul Winchell. It was later released again with a different cover. Uh, I think in the 60s maybe, mm -hmm. is that right? And so I like that cover better. I think it's kind of cool. This book is still relatively common and uh, I think you can get this on various websites and things like that. Absolutely. In fact, it is still in print today. Uh, you can still find it, a new copy of it. It's comb bound, but it's still available. Very nice. And then Another my one last for one for you, Mr. Tommy. Oh, one of my favorite, my personal favorites. When people would write W.S. Berger and say, W.S., I want to learn how to do ventriloquism, this is the book he'd recommend. This is actually a re-edited version of a previous booklet, uh, book by Douglas Craggs called The ABC of Ventriloquism. This is Ventriloquism from A to Z. It's got great uh, information on voice production, how to operate the dummy, novelties, and it's all written at a level where anybody can understand it. It's long out of print, but you can find it online, uh, and it won't cost too much, and it's well worth looking up if you don't already have it. Very nice. And that's just a small sampling uh, from today's episode of Behind the Scenes at Vent Haven. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something you'd like to see behind the scenes, email Lisa at curator at venthaven.org.